Hey YouTube, this is DWS Darius, and in this video I'm going to give you guys a look at the 125 gallon African Cichlid tank. Okay, so every time I look at this tank, I feel as though this tank is just a great accomplishment for me. And the reason why is because I've done what many people thought to be impossible to do with African cichlids. Many fish keepers would never do something like this. And I've done it and got away with it. And that's keeping a tank with Mabuna, Haps, and Peacocks together. So not everybody would recommend mixing all three types of African cichlids, your Haps, Peacocks, and Mabuna. And there's a lot of good reasons why you shouldn't mix them. In most cases, the Mabuna are much more aggressive than the Haps and Peacocks and will eventually overrun the tank maybe and kill the Haps and Peacocks. And also, there's a huge difference in diet. The Mabuna pretty much are vegetarians preferring algae and veggie based diets while the Haps and Peacocks are more predator fish seeking more protein. So that's pretty much why people don't mix them. Okay, even though I had so many reasons why I shouldn't mix Mabona, Haps, and Peacocks, I just still felt the need to mix them because I just love the diversity it brings to the tank. All of these fish are from the same lake, and I just love to have just the different colors and attitudes and shapes of Mabona, along with the colors and attitudes and shapes of Peacocks and Haps. I just love the way they mix, so that's why I, myself, try to get all three fish living together in harmony. So, as I said before, many people attempt to mix all three fish, but they fail to do so because either the Mabuna just go crazy or just they can't keep up with the proper diets. Either way, most people prefer not to get involved. However, I was able to somehow find success in the mixing of the Haps and Peacocks and Mabuna. And what makes it even more amazing is that the dominant male is this big 5 inch bumblebee cichlid, which usually would mean problems, which would mean he's the boss and he's killing everybody else. But I don't know how, I don't know why. It's just balance, no problems. The next in command to him is the Venustus at four inches and these two barely go at it. And I'm just really grateful for that because it seems rare in a hobby for just to have such a mix of fish and little problems. The majority of the fish in this tank are Mabuna, AKA the killers and I'm pretty much having success with them. Now I pretty much want to watch my mouth because the last time I was boasting about these fish, the same bumblebee that's the boss went and killed my favorite. So um, I gotta watch what I say, but hopefully they don't do nothing to contradict me. But um, yeah, my tank is just, I just love the way it's balanced. I love the way I'm able to get this nice looks of the Mabona, the different rarities of, of Mabona. And at the same time, I'm able to get some awesome haps that many of you haps and peacock owners can keep. So um, I just wanted to share with you guys how awesome it is to have a mixed African cichlid tank. Okay, so after watching me talk about how my tank is pretty much balanced, I'm pretty sure most of you want to know how you can try to get balanced in your tank. Now I'm going to tell you that you won't strike gold at your first attempt. Now, I've introduced many peacocks and haps when I first had my Mabona. I had many casualties, but eventually mm -hmm. I learned that when I introduced them as juveniles, as smaller fish, they're less of a threat to the Mabona. And as they grow, they eventually grow in stature and are able to compete with the Mabona. I bought all my peacocks and haps smaller than an inch, while my Mabona were about three inches. And even though most people would say, don't do that, my fish, they, the Mabona didn't feel threatened by them. So I left them alone and eventually they grew up. And now the second in command is the Venustus. And just, they have a nice, none of these peacocks and haps are on the bottom of the hierarchy. They're all up there. So um, my tip to all who seek to have a mixed tank is just to introduce them as juveniles. Everybody has their own trick. I think if you introduce an uh, adult, Peacock, he would just be too much competition for my bone. The Mabona would try so hard, so hard to show dominance over him, and it would result in casualties and beatdowns. So um, that's just my little tip. If you wanna 
get success at this, either start off with your Haps and Peacocks and add Juvenile Mbona, or start off with your Mbona, which most people already start off with, and um, slowly add small Juvenile Haps and Peacocks. It worked for me, it may not work for you, but it's worth trying. Okay, so this has been just a little video on my 125 gallon African Sigla tank. As always, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I want to thank everybody that's been supporting my channel. I want to thank all of you guys that have hit that subscribe button just to give me more of a want to pursue in this hobby. And for those of you who hasn't hit that button yet, you always have an opportunity to just hit that subscribe button to just to stay tuned with me. Hit the like button if you like this video and just keep doing what you're doing because it's working. I'm getting more and more addicted. So I just want to thank you all. And here's a final look at the tank.